Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. The kids are going to join me in a moment because there's a couple of boxes that we want to open up. One of them I have a pretty good idea of what's inside and the other one I have no idea at all. So we're going to find out together, which should be fun. A couple of quick updates I want to give you guys though first. Uh, it is March break here where we live and that means that the kids are off school for the week and so we're going to try to spend some family time together and that means we're going to put a little pause on Dust Warfare and our gameplay episodes and, and uploading really any new material to the channel. I uh, apologize for that delay but um, family first, right? And uh, when we, we finish up with March break we'll come right back and we'll get right into Dust Warfare. I know the instructional series was long and we finally just started the gameplay and I'm, I'm making you guys wait. Uh, but the gameplay should move along relatively quickly. Uh, there's five rounds to the game, so that means there should be about five and a half episodes to wrap up all of the gameplay. I wasn't sure if I was going to do the entire gameplay, um, but really, if we can do it in five episodes, then why not give it a shot, right? We'll see what people think anyway. Already people are responding with strategies for what Luke should do on his next turn, which I'm really excited about seeing that both in the YouTube comments and also over at our Board Game Geek Guild where I've put a whole bunch of details. And even though uh, we're gonna be sort of focused on doing stuff with the family, I will be keeping up on emails and posts and that sort of thing. So feel free to contact me that way if you want. Speaking of contacting me, I just wrapped up the uh, last uh, online player perk from our last fundraiser. Ben uh, donated generously to our show and, and the little perk there was that I would set aside some time to play uh, a game of his choosing um, over Skype or through the internet and he picked Mice and Mystics and we just did that today and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we played the second chapter so we basically continued on from the, uh, the series that we did for the show and we continued that story. Ben doesn't have the game but he did a fantastic job. Okay, He, he had a Tupperware box so you could see through the bottom and he put a piece of paper there and numbered off the sides of the dice and then with each of those drew in the actual custom sides of the Mice and Mystics dice so when he rolled his regular d6s we could just very quickly look and see what those translated into which was great because it meant he could roll his own dice I didn't have to roll them for him and so he really got to be a part of the gameplay and we won we, we rescued Lily spoiler there on uh, that particular chapter but uh, it was a really great time and I, I'm really glad that we did those uh, those online player perks because it turned out to be a lot of fun you know obviously it's a little bit of a, a risk because I don't know you know how good will the game translate through Skype will the viewers enjoy it I, I got the impression that uh, that Ben and anyone else who who played along with me enjoyed it and I certainly did so so I was glad so maybe we'll do that again with our next fundraiser later this year but um, is there anything else I need to say I don't think so so let's get the kids down here and let's take a look and see what's in these boxes Okay, I've been joined by... Luke Smith. And... Andrea. So, we're about to open this box, but I remember there's one mistake we made in the last Dust gameplay episode. I'm sure, Andrea, if you were playing with us, you would have caught it. But Luke and I of both course. missed it. Of course you would have. We, we missed it. And I'm going to, of course, update that in the next gameplay episode. But for those of you who might like to get a little preview of that mistake so you can perhaps strategize for the next episode correctly, Sigrid, we gave her a suppression token, and we shouldn't have. Why? Because she's a hero? She's a hero. And heroes don't take suppression when they're operating on their own. So Sigrid has two available actions, not one. Sorry about that. Let's get into the box. This, I know what's in here. You guys don't know what's in here, but I do. So on top, we have a little letter. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I am going to quickly summarize it for you. This came from our friends over at Passport Game Studios. You might remember that name because they're the ones who published the game to Kaido. Oh, and, awesome. And sent it to us. Yeah. And we all played it together. So... It says, Dear Rodney, Luke, and Andrea, we love the video series you made for Takedo, and it clearly showed that you all enjoyed the game as much as we do. We want to both show our appreciation and celebrate a job well done by Watch It Played by creating these unique shirts for you. They, you are the only ones who have these Takedo shirts, and each one features the characters you played on the show. Wear them with pride. Isn't that cool? And congrats to Luke for winning a game of Takedo in front of the largest recorded audience. <laughs> so... And this is uh, from Lene, Rob, and Bobby over at Passport Game Studios. Thank you guys. What we'll do is we'll actually get these t-shirts out and why don't we put them on. Okay. And then we can show everyone the shirts. All right. So we're wearing the shirts. Yeah. How do they fit? Great. Perfect fit. It's almost like they had spies in our house to know what size shirts we wear. Scary. All right, let's turn around and show you guys the backs of the shirts. As you can see, our custom shirts have the uh, characters that we played in the game. How cool is that? Thank you guys so much at Passport Games. That was a lot of fun. Obviously, we enjoyed doing the video series, and this is a nice little nice little reward for that effort. Souvenir. Thank you. Yeah, it's a nice souvenir, <laughs> just like in the game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, come back, and we'll sit down and clear off some of these fluffies. Yes, yes, there were fluffies in the box. Thank you guys so game. much. 
<laughs> all right, second box. Now, yes. this one, I really don't know what's in here at all. I do see it's from Pete Shirley, and I know that's one of our viewers. Pete. I've opened up the box, and there are, again, I just cleaned up the fluffies from the other box, and now there's more fluffies. Rodney, thanks again for all the hard work you do. We as fans really appreciate it. Enclosed are some custom zombie side characters I have made for you and your family. I hope you enjoy them. Sincerely, Pete Shirley. P.S. Tell Luke Hulk Smash. <laughs> Spoiler. Oh, yeah. Don't read until you've opened the box. So we must mean the second page. So we won't read, read it. We won't read the second page. But let's take a look inside here. Oh man. Fluffies, guys. The fluff, mess, fluff, the mess fluff, of fluffies. Fluff, okay, I fluffies. think I think this is it. Let's just make sure there's nothing this hidden in here. Fluffy man. Let's see if there's a, oh no, it doesn't seem to be anything <laughs> else. Do you see anything in there, Luke? <laughs> no, not no? really. Okay, good. There's no, a green one. All right. Okay, let's see what's uh, let's see what's in here now. Uh, a something. There's something. Oh, I've already seen a picture and it's got me excited already. Okay. Oh, I've kind of the seen Punisher, it. one of my favorite comic book characters from Marvel. Look at that. Wait, that's for, for Marvel. zombie side? For zombie side, but they're custom. Wait a second, so does that mean there's figures There's figures in here? Oh, I see them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now this one, I think the glue uh, came off on this one. I'm going to re-glue this one. But there's a Punisher character here, as well as, Ooh. let's see what other characters we have. Of course, I'll give you guys oh, some close-ups of this. The Amazing Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> Captain, Captain America. America. Captain America. The Incredible, Incredible Hulk, Hulk and Black, Black Widow. Widow. The whole Avengers team, plus my favorite roguish character, the Punisher. And what do we got here? Oh my goodness. Look at this. So, um, equipment cards for them. <laughs> so, Hulk, Hulk Smash's Smash. card. We got Cap's shield. Peter Parker's camera, one reroll per turn, may be discarded to prevent a wound. <laughs> Another Hulk smash, web, web shooters, shooters, and more web, web shooters. shooters. Of course, two web shooters, right? Woo! <laughs> oh my goodness, Pete, this is amazing. And we've got, a, we've got a mini figs. We've got an awesome Captain America. We've got uh, Black Widow here, Spider-Man, and Hulk as well. Again, Hulk on a big base. Came off in the mail, no worries. I got all kinds of crazy glue. I can get these patched up in no time. Well, wow, that is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a Marvel Zombies series, so we can play it out for real now. And uh, what am I going to yeah. say about that? I mean, that's incredible. First of all, incredibly creative. I'm really excited, but these have all been laminated, so they're going to stand up really well. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Awesome. They're awesome. really awesome. Oh, what can I tell you guys? From playing games online with you guys, making the video series, and all the other little perks that come with it, it really yeah. is a lot of fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to having this little March break that we're about yeah. to have, but I can't wait to get back to it and make more videos for you guys. Yeah. So thanks again, as always. Until the next episode, thanks, thanks for watching. watching.